Hello guys, Genos here, and today let's talk about the forest archangel Eladriel, right? Eladriel, yes, very weird name. Okay, so he's a forest element and he's a melee DPS servant. HP 1745, attack 665, defense 803, speed 103. Okay, now let's look into the uh skills of the archangel the forest archangel eladriel but before that guys i would really love to recommend you guys to subscribe to my channel to keep on enjoying the contents like this and please leave your views and opinions in the comment section below after this video okay now let's get this started heavenly sword deals damage based on defense just like his fire water versions Increases defense of all allies for 30 seconds. Okay. Ooh. Now let's move on to the second one. Punishment. Deals damage based on defense. Grants redemption to caster. Okay, that's a new thing. Redemption. 70% chance to decrease enemy defense for 60 seconds. So, yes, that's good. Now let's see what the redemption does in the later on. Okay. And the Archangel Sword, the combo skill, okay? Cleaves enemies with the Heavenly Sword and attack enemies with the Summon Sword of the Archangel. So that's a AoE damage, that meaning that he is gonna be a mayhem in the PvP modes, okay? He is gonna be dealing the damage to all opponents at the same time. So he's gonna have a bit awesome, uh, uh, you know, edge in the pvp battles does damage based on defense so more the defense he has more tankier he's gonna get and more damage he's gonna deal so that's pretty good next one passive skill becomes immune to defense debuff that should be given uh increases defense by 50 percent for the duration of the redemption so this redemption right right over here against the redemption i think that's for 60 seconds that's for one minute i believe and then for that time he's gonna have the 50 percent uh, defense increase that means he's gonna deal more damage okay and all attacks received becomes glancing hits when tagged by a water enemy so if he is attacking a water enemy which could be old boss or any other like you know service especially in the omens void 11 floor oh my god oh my damn that's gonna be a really great thing he is gonna make glancing hits that means he's never gonna be land you know like uh, receive debuff from the water enemy and then he's gonna negate okay he's gonna reduce a huge amount a huge portion of damage received from the water enemies so oh my god that's pretty good that's pretty good and good thing guys i have him yeah so if an ally a sphinx is present defense increases by 100 percent and again i would also really love to recommend the water a sphinx with this servant as he is a melee dps servant with water a sphinx he is gonna be a very speedy character with a increased damage like 100 percent defense increase that means he's gonna be dealing more damage right and he's gonna be unstoppable character guys nice over there you know like a passive skill so many things going on around so good so good oh my god increased damage nice pretty good pretty good not that bad not that bad okay defense of all elemental eyes increases by 45 percent at pvp oh my god oh my so he is really gonna be uh you know a menace in the pvp battles right because like for the fire version it's for the world raid uh, i mean the world boss and for the forest version he's directly focusing on the pvp contents so that's pretty good uh so yes uh, as i've been saying from the very beginning he's really good at the pvp battles i mean like in the pvp contents and then when it comes to the tiles and sanctuary he's really gonna be a very good uh, servant right over there as well tower defense abaddon and especially in the world boss as well you know like he's gonna be good he's gonna be good okay but not as good as the fire version of archangel in the world boss but still he's gonna make it out there and omens void yes in the 11th floor yeah why not why not because in the omen void 11th floor the omen is of water element and guess what guys he is one that you know like he is that unique servant 
who has finally arrived in Air of Light, who is really bullying the weaker element, okay? Who is really bullying the weaker element? Oh my god! All attacks restrict becomes glancing hits. It's like 100% that he is gonna make it a glancing hit. So yes, when you are actually fighting against a water-based uh, opponent, even in the PvP battles, you know, like it, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Okay. So uh, have fun. Have fun in uh, uh, farming in the Omens Void 11 floor. And in the hit zones and also his, his he can really prove to be a very good ally for your arsenal, okay? So that's pretty good. Really, really good unit. Overall, really awesome unit, guys. Very awesome unit. I would say he's a S tier right away. But his fire version is way much more better. But still, anyways, I don't like it depends upon the situation. Anyways, next one, let's go into what sort of uh, equipment we need to give to him yes obviously it should be the havoc and the blade yes as long as you have really good tier gears or else you can just resort to all defense gears okay to give him the pure damage you can also have some uh, blade uh, gears instead to give you a little bit more chance of inflicting the critical damage right and uh, let's move on to what sort of gears we need to equip him okay let's talk about the gears so for the weapon the shirt and the pants yes all the primary stats are the flat stats so no need to worry about them but when it comes to the additional stats you need to focus on the speed defense percentage boost the critical rate boost and the critical damage boost right and when it comes to the gloves you have to go for the speed boost no questions asked and the next one is the helmet you have to go with the critical rate if you don't have enough critical rate chance already which is about 100 percent but if you already have that one then go for the critical damage okay no questions asked and the next one is the attack per no defense person is boost guys try to have the defense percentage boost as the primary stat in the shoes and this way he is gonna deal a lot of damage and when it comes to the necklace try to go with the speed stats okay go with the speed stats and when it comes to the attack go i mean <laughs> when it comes to the ring go with the critical damage okay critical damage percentage is the best to go with the ring and with this way he is gonna deal a massive amount of damage, he is gonna rule in the PvP battles and especially the weaker element, he's just gonna, you know, like, he's gonna just taunt them, guys. It's like, uh, uh did you even scratch me? <laughs> what is that? Okay, something like that, you know, like, he, he, oh my god. It's really great, guys, it's really great, it's really, it's really awesome, it's really awesome. So uh, this is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel and guys please leave your views and opinions in the comment section below, it really matters a lot to me and see you guys in the next video.